Now the leaders of the people settled in Jerusalem. The rest of the people cast lots to bring out one of every ten of them to live in Jerusalem, the holy city, while the remaining nine were to stay in their own towns. The people commended all who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. These are the provincial leaders who settled in Jerusalem. Now some Israelites, priests, Levites, temple servants, and descendants of Solomon's servants lived in the towns of Judah, each on their own property in the various towns, while the other people from both Judah and Benjamin lived in Jerusalem. From the descendants of Judah, Athaiah son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalalel, a descendant of Perez, and Maasaiah son of Baruch, the son of Kolhose, the son of Hazaiah, the son of Adaiah, the son of Joiarib, the son of Zechariah, a descendant of Shela. The descendants of Perez who lived in Jerusalem totaled 468 men of standing. From the descendants of Benjamin, Salu son of Meshulam, the son of Joed, the son of Pedaiah, the son of Kolaiah, the son of Maaseiah, the son of Ethiel, the son of Jeshaiah, and his followers Gabai and Salai, 928 men. Joel son of Zikri was their chief officer, and Judah son of Hasinoah was over the new quarter of the city. From the priests, Jediah son of Joiarib, Jakin, Seraiah son of Helkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merayoth, the son of Ahitub, the official in charge of the house of God, and their associates who carried on work for the temple, 822 men. Adaiah son of Jeruham, the son of Pelaiah, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pashur, the son of Malkijah, and his associates who were heads of families, 242 men. Amashsai son of Azarel, the son of Azai, the son of Meshilamoth, the son of Emer, and his associates who were men of standing, 128. Their chief officer was Zabdiel son of Hagedolim. From the Levites, Shemaiah son of Hashub, the son of Azrikam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, Shabathiah and Josabad, two of the heads of the Levites who had charge of the outside work of the house of God. Mataniah son of Mika, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, the director who led in thanksgiving and prayer, Bakbukiah, second among his associates, and Abda son of Shamua, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun. The Levites in the holy city totaled 284. The gatekeepers, Akub, Talmon, and their associates, who kept watch at the gates, 172 men. The rest of the Israelites, with the priests and Levites, were in all the towns of Judah, each on their ancestral property. The temple servants lived on the hill of Ophel, and Zaiha and Gishba were in charge of them. The chief officers of the Levites in Jerusalem was Uzi son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Mika. Uzi was one of Asaph's descendants, who were the musicians responsible for the service of the house of God. The musicians were under the king's orders, which regulated their daily activity. Pethahiah son of Meshezabel, one of the descendants of Zerah son of Judah, was the king's agent in all affairs relating to the people. As for the villagers with their fields, some of the people in Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its surrounding settlements, in Daibon and its settlements, in Jekamzil and its villages, in Jeshua, in Molada, in Beth Pelet, in Hazar Shual, in Beersheba, and its settlements, in Ziklag, in Mekona and its settlements, in En-Rimon, in Zora, in Jarmuz, Zanoa, Adulam and their villages, in Lakish and its fields, and in Azika and its settlements. So they were living all the way from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The descendants of the Benjamites from Geba lived in Mikmash, Aijah, Bethel and its settlements, in Anathoth, Nob in Ananiah, in Hazor, Rama and Gitaim, in Hadid, Zebuim and Nebalat, in Lod and Ono, and in Geharashim. Some of the divisions of the Levites of Judah settled in Benjamin.